After working in the food and service industry for over 20 years, Savannah local Rashawn Parker is trading in his apron for a new culinary adventure. As executive producer and host of Beyond the Check, Worker Owner Edition, Parker is exploring every inch of the Hostess City and beyond through cuisine. I started Beyond the Check after trying to figure out how to like use media to give back like to the community. Beyond the Check is a documentary series that was created to highlight worker-owned restaurants. I find those hidden gem restaurants, the little local favorites that you wish you knew about, you know, when you're going to a town, you usually have to go ask the locals about, like, where should I eat? Well, I've already been there. So if you watch the show and you want to go to an area that I've been to, you can just be like, oh my God, I have to have that. I wanted to explore the uplifting side of the service industry by meeting super talented chef owners. Oh my hey. god, boys, what's up? Hey, how are we going? John, what's Oscar, what's hey. Hey. hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Paige. <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> Amanda. Chef <laughs> Pepe. How are you? Good, how are you? The show follows the stories of different establishments and their staff through each episode. Find out about their lives. Hello, good evening. My name is Giuseppe Gialone. Everybody knows me as Pepe. I was born and raised in Italy, in Napoli, and uh, I've been cooking for my entire life. With an iPhone camera and a dream, the show was born. I was doing this fun thing where I was hanging out with servers and was taking servers out to do something fun and talk about work, because servers love to talk about work. And I wanted to do something more than just that. And I was like, I need to go to the restaurants. And so my father had passed away, and we were in Ohio for his uh, celebration of life party, and my sister and her husband owned this little restaurant called Purple Chopsticks. And so it was just me and my wife and some iPhones, and I had a couple little microphones. And I was like, all right, hey guys, do you mind if I like interview you, and like, you can like, cook me up some food and stuff, and we'll like, do a little expose in your restaurant? And they're like, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. And so I shot that, and I came home, and I edited it, and I started showing it to people, and they're like, well, this might be the best thing you've ever made. What people don't understand about a restaurant it is it really is a business. Instead of highlighting well-known franchise restaurants, Parker chooses the independently owned small businesses. I find the thing in the middle. So mainly casual fine dining restaurants. They're usually closed a couple days of the week so the chef can have the day off. Sometimes they don't open till five and they only do dinner service. You know, so it's, it's really like, it's their life. You know, the restaurant is their dream. It's everything to them, and that's, those are the people I like to show off, because I like to see this positive side of the service industry. It's really my passion project, you know, for the world. We're gonna do the taquitos. I'm gonna show you how to make some uh, keto tortillas and how we do it here. We'll do our ahi tuna nachos. Ahi tuna nachos. The main course, and I hope you brought a big appetite, is uh, lamb shank. Vegan ramen. Reporting in Savannah, Kaylin Jackson, WSAV Now.